There are many different factors that will affect the uh, concrete compressive strength, uh, as shown here. Um, and we'll talk about uh, each of these individually in this section, um, but I wanted to highlight uh, each and give you an overview in this video. Um, so the primary factor that will affect concrete compressive strength is the water to cement ratio. So essentially here, the more water that we have, the lower the strength will be. And this is always true. Uh, the cement type is also going to affect the strength slightly, um, and it will also affect the rate at which the um, strength develops. Uh, so just to give you a comparison, if you have a type 1 cement and versus a type 3, A type 3 is going to develop strength faster. Than a, a type 1. So we'll also have uh, our supplement supplementary cementitious materials will also affect the strength. Um, so essentially when we add our silica fume or fly ash um, or slag, uh, it's going to affect our strength. And uh, we'll see that the way it affects the strength is dependent on the uh, composition of the SCM. Um, so we'll use this triangle uh, to show whether a, a, an SCM has more silica, has more uh, calcium oxide, or has more uh, aluminum oxide. Um, so let's say we have an SCM that falls around there in our triangle, uh, what's going to happen is uh, some of our CH, which we remember as weak, will combine with our, our uh, S from our SCM to give us CSH, which we remember as our, our strong or our bonding agent in our uh, concrete. Um, chemical admixtures will also affect our strength. Um, so what admixtures will do essentially is uh, when we add um, super plasticizer, for example, it's going to improve our workability. Um, so adding a super plasticizer will allow us to decrease our water because um, normally we can also add uh, water to increase our workability. Um, and this will in turn increase our strength uh, because lower water uh, equals higher strength, uh, as you, we saw um, back in one. Um, our aggregate type and quantity uh, can also affect the strength. Um, so it, for a weak aggregate, we can see um, at our interface with the aggregate, say this is uh, our failure crack, uh, we can have failure occurring through the aggregate. Um, for a stronger aggregate, failure may occur around the aggregate. Um, so this will affect our strength and uh, stiffness of the system. Um, we also have our curing type and duration. Uh, so essentially, if we um, moist cure for longer, we'll have uh, a higher amount of the cement that will um, hydrate, and it'll hydrate at, at a, a quicker rate, so we can have uh, improved strengths earlier. Um, our concrete age will also have an effect. Uh, so essentially, <laughs> our concrete strength develops over time. Um, so we'll look at some relationships to determine our concrete strength versus time. And uh, finally, our rate of loading. And uh, we'll see that uh, an increased rate of loading uh, will lead to apparent um, increased strengths. Uh, so we'll need to take this into account when uh, we're testing our cylinders and also uh, when we're designing for uh, impact loads.